And Strize is nowhere to be found. Strize is eating cake. Oh, and here he is. All right. Wow, dude. Hold on. You having trouble there? Yeah. So we have Japan Umabura winners semis. Oh, wait. We're in SoCal. What's going on? These guys are amazing. They're, pretty, they're both pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good people. So, Kamehameha King. It's crazy these guys have fought up against each other in Japan. I'm not really sure how it normally goes. And I haven't really seen, like, Mega Man and Sonic at the top level. But just judging by what both characters have, you know, the neutral. I want to say uh, Mega Man's pellets make it pretty difficult for Sonic to approach the screen dash. Just, just off the bat. Yeah, absolutely. He does have some kind of setup, though, to deal with things. Uh, you can time the intangibility from side B. You can dash under, uh, down Ooh. B2. Oh my gosh, or he just, just get duffed in the chin. What the literally heck? in the shins. He literally just, he's like, I don't care if you're a robot, dude. Legs gone. <laughs> that was great. That was a really hard punish there. Followed oh. his jump appropriately, caught the landing. Yep. One thing that's actually really, really good against Sonic is Leaf Shield. Leaf Shield is actually really, really good in this matchup, especially after when he got that nice little buff uh, a long, long time ago. In this, in the planet very far, far away. Yeah, Sonic actually surprised him. Really yeah, he has not used it at all, so it's actually very surprising. Yeah, so. so I think that would be really good right now. Yep, you can catch the landing. Yep, catch. After you uh, use print, the spring from Sonic in the air, you have very limited landing options. So. Yep. Maybe recognizing that, getting an easy punch, and now he's looking for the particular back here. But, yep, catching the air dodge. Of course. Part two. Yep. Yep. He's waiting for him to swing. Waiting for him to the spring. All right, goes low this time, but still at the ledge. Thought he would roll in there. Yeah, I wasn't able to get it. Another chance to get some free damage here. Backer off stage. Let's yeah, see what you do with it. Yeah, that's an easy damage. Yeah, backer X did it. 100%. And it's a really good tool. Yeah, it's I great. love that. Good cross under. Oh. It's a good place. Getting really safe here. And then they're looking for an opening, but Ken's not making it easy at all. Ooh, okay. God, yeah. yeah, middle blade into the back there. Priest there will uh, kill confirm. Yeah, nice confirm. Recognizing he can use the spring at low percent to save a lot of early combos. Ken's, uh, looks like he's pretty experienced with how this matchup works. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, caught the air, though. Oh, 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 this is a problem for him, actually. Oh, no. Ken doesn't try to attempt any edge guard, like, any solid edge guard or anything. No uh, fair potential stage spike. Yeah. Especially after you no hit him out of the jump. The yeah, and okay, go through 50 50. Good movement, though, from Kamehameha. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. And he taunts on him too, dude. <laughs> dude. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he loved it, dude. <laughs> he did not care. Dude, I love that, dude. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> dude. I mean, they're both laughing about it. Yeah, that's pretty funny. What are the odds? Are? All right. Well, I mean, we'll take those. And can maybe it's switching or trolling? I don't know. <laughs> That was good. I just love that they both are just found that so hilarious. I mean, I don't know what it is, but every time I see a Japanese play at a local like this, they seem to take it pretty like lighthearted more than they would like a big series like national tournament. I mean, maybe it's a, I think it's an effect of how also like you know, of course, you're not playing for money usually the majority of the time. A good That's time. True. And so you're doing you're playing for the love of the game and improve and stuff, and you see funny stuff like ah. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. Next yeah, I time, imagine right? they get along pretty well. Too, oh, of so. course, of course. But FD pick here from Kin. Uh, I'm really curious what his, his plan is with this stage. I actually think this is much uh, better for Kamehameha as far as keeping him out. Great. Uh, has Metal Blade in play. Yeah, Metal Blade combined with uh, the Lemons here. Really difficult for Kin to just commit with the Spin Dash approach. Wow, that's crazy. Yep. I like that his uh, strategy seems to be consistently, if he does pull out the metal blade, stay directly behind it. Mm -hmm. So that if Ken does try to approach it, either hit him out of the air with like a metal or the lemons. Yep. At the same time, catching the metal blade, extend his hit, confirm him there. Uh, yeah, he's really good at catching the landings too. Yeah, good stuff. Good springs, and to push him away. 
so far I've been liking the subtle mix-ups right now from Ken 2. He's been going for but predominantly a spin dash as always, but he is uh, mixing some spin charges in there. Of course, a spin charge is the one that just goes straight automatically on the ground, uh, rather going through the beginning stance change of uh, going for the hop, yeah. the invincible hop, before you go into actually going on the ground. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. And then you start dying, dude. They're both laughing. I really like uh, Kamui in those situations because he's really confident in those uh, really like high pressure defensive uh, positions yeah. on the legs. He like, trusts the reactions to like read or roll. But uh, right there, King's like, I, I, I've played you. I've seen you play enough times to know that you're just trying to date me <laughs> to roll right here. Yeah. I was wait. And I will get okay. Try to go for uh, out of shield punish. It's gonna work out. Still right on damage, man. You know all those lemons in that shield. Up oh, against so many things. Sipping on Ooh. that lemonade, and the bear is going to close it out. The bear is <laughs> laughing back and forth. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're just loving it. It's like, this is a really high-level match between Mega Man and Sonic, but, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell from the way that their face is right now. Okay. Not able to get the text just there from the jazz. And, uh, I do appreciate that from King's play style. Like, whenever he has his opponent, like, in a knockdown, he does... He doesn't really just stay in one spot. He uses a movement that's time to get right back in the face and yep. uh, establish pressure again. I do like the setup from Ken too, going for the double jump in the air. Uh, that's a situation where Sonic usually can't reach in time, but you can do it. But if you jump early, he may potentially just get you in the air, get out of your jump, and then he can chase your landing. Uh, yeah. Obviously, Sonic is incredible at doing so because he has a beautiful anti-air amount of side B and just even spin charge, just sheer speed. Oh, okay, there's a leaf shield. It was forced to jump. Had no more invincibility. Oh, attacked by the leaf shield. But he's still in a pretty good spot. Kamehameha actually needs to... I don't really see him getting an early kill unless he gets an edge guard at this yeah. point. Like this point. Alright, Ken doesn't want to get grabbed at the ledge here. Catches okay, him jumping. Fair. Oh, man. I thought he was going to go for a wide toss. Not going to happen. Oh. The dare. <laughs> I like that reversal. <laughs> Scared the guy. Alright, catch the arrows with the neutral air. Yeah, just get the Wait, not this, the leaf shield though. Didn't get the exact bear conversion that he wanted, but hey, that's still damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's Kenny again. <laughs> he's trying to get him again. <laughs> he's not gonna get this stock, but he's in a yep. really bad spot. Okay, and he's back. Yep. Mayor's gonna get him back on stage. Oh, he's waiting. <laughs> oh, man. Sniped him out of that jump, too. <laughs> I like that Ken's more patient than Kamehameha in these situations where people will get scared and like panic roll. Not okay. giving him any free weeks. Yeah, landing leaf shield, I like it. That's really, really good in this matchup. Alright, so he's in the down tilt. Yeah. Oh, you have oh. the metal blade in hand, so you actually couldn't get a hard punish on that uh, that OB landing. Oh! Hit him out? Oh my god, that's so scary. Oh, up yeah, just enough, just yeah, enough. Just yeah, enough. Yeah. Crazy that that barely was enough to kill at 184. Yeah, man. Mega Man's crazy. I'm surprised he didn't just nair that, too. That could have been a little bit earlier, but it doesn't matter. Regardless, he's going to get the kill there. Good stuff to Ken. These guys are <laughs> having a good time. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see at MS. Oh. Is he really about to switch it? Uh, or is he... This guy has so many characters that like these could all be like viable picks. Cheat, there it is. I, I, I'm surprised it didn't come out. I don't know, man. I think he's actually gonna opt for the Yoshi here. <laughs> dude, why is Quan so weird right now, dude? He's been so stone stone faced the entire time. It's crazy, man. They took his camera, dude. Is that what happened? It's like someone took his soul away, dude. <laughs> soul the camera, yeah, you know. Dude. You can fail frame that, dude. <laughs> the heck, dude. All right, so opting to go Yoshi here, character counter pick. You've seen him pull this character out in uh, various matchups. Mm -hmm. uh, curious as to why he prefers Yoshi in this matchup. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can provide some some insight. Being a former side man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually surprised with it as well. Uh, but a couple things are great about Yoshi is Yoshi has some uh, pretty decent anti-airs. Uh, up smash is actually going to catch from a very, very high range. So you can get that perfect spacing where you can get some like air dodge traps. 
Yoshi does have a really good jab, so that's going to deal with spin dashes really well, providing he spaces himself correctly. Okay. And uh, you're also going to have Nair. Nair is a very meaty move, which means that if he does a spin dash or anything in the air, usually for the most part outside of Bear, he's going to be able to pretty much beat it out or okay. get a trade. So there are a couple things that Yoshi will have. Uh, good aerial mobility as well, too. But at the end of the day, Sonic is really good at catching landing, so yeah. I think that this is... I don't know, maybe a matchup mix-up. Uh, more so than uh, right now, though, the numbers. Ken looks like he's played a lot of Yoshi's yeah, yeah, right yeah. here. He's actually just weaving in and out of all these hitboxes. As far as that jab, oh, that grab attempt from Kamehameha uh, there. Yeah, Yoshi's grab has a lot of in like For him to go for that, yep. um, very risky. Yeah, and you can see how he's moving. He's like, he's not afraid. He's going on really airborne. As I think that's the one thing for Yoshi in this matchup. Where Yoshi usually prides himself on being like uh, having a ton of aerial mobility, moving in and out. Okay, dude, I, this is actually the darkest timeline. This is literally the darkest timeline. I hate them so much. Dude. Oh my god, you can't have you can't have a serious moment ever at Innocent 100. All right, Ken has been waiting for Kamehameha to commit the jump, getting a hard punch pretty much every time. Maybe he's just waiting for the one hit he needs to. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, he thought he got the stock. Wow, he's <laughs> on him, dude. All right. I mean, to be honest, I, I definitely thought that jab up smash would be in there. Yeah, that was absolutely. really good. Yeah, on Kim's part. Yeah, really well done. Okay. Right, looking up the lane here. Nice beer versus the platform. Very tricky movement here with the Yoshi. He's all over the place. Yeah, he's weaving in and out. He finally gets to the ground. Uh, I do feel that, of course, in this matchup that Yoshi actually does a bit better when playing a bit more grounded than the kind of average uh, standard strategy that yeah. you're going to see from Yoshi. You saw right there. Yeah. Uh, caught him jumping, punched him perfectly with the spin dash into the near finisher for the stock. And uh, Yeah, I guess it's difficult to change gears like that because, you know, Yoshi's normally very airborne in most matchups. When you're playing as a character that can consistently punish that, it might be difficult to just kind of say, uh, all right, I need to stay on the ground as Yoshi more. Exactly. Face the jabs. Only really throw up my nares to, like, hit him out of his approach. Precisely, precisely. I mean, look, you're, Yoshi is a character, like, yeah, I have great mobility, and it's airborne, but Sonic has great ground mobility. Yes. And he looks for those landings. So, like, you are jumping in the air every single time, you're going to be a liability, no matter how great your air mobility is, right? And they're looking for a chance to get this boy there off stage. He's been vision for it the entire game so far. That's nice. That's one thing I really appreciate. No matter what character he seems to use against this, uh, Sonic, he's consistently waiting for Ken to use his resources in the air and chasing his landings and everything. It's something I don't really see that much from most people who combat this character, and I actually think that's one of his weakest points. Uh, as well. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, a lot of people let a lot of Sonic kind of get away with that for free. It's always a good tell for Sonics. Uh, if you if you go ahead and you just spring right out, and then if the opponent doesn't know how to punish you, and you're like, all right, <laughs> time to jam. You do whatever you want. Right now, though, Kamehameha turn it up just a little bit. Ooh, up there. Yep. Okay. It's easy damage, and that means he gets a, another landing opportunity, as you see here. Almost gets the cancel. Good nice. DI away. Oh, that's a late in there. Uh, Kamehameha thought he would be a, get an easy punch on that uh, spring landing, but Ken playing very safely. Oh, I almost thought that was the quick cross up back into the pivot guard on stage. Oh, oh, the micro spacing is real. Maybe looking for the opportunity he needs. Jab one, very safe on block. Is really safe shield pressure. Yep. Okay, trying to get that punish with the up air. Doesn't get it. So good at catching these landings. Right, let's see what Ken's edge guard is here. Yeah, let's see. He hasn't been able to punish the double jump at all. Yeah, to be honest though, maybe he's been mixing up his timings on the double jump really well. But there it is. Yeah. that was the timing he was looking for to punish. Catches it perfectly as soon as he gets in the air. Caught that flutter jump. The yeah. perfect back air. Yep. So not that game. Yeah, so back air does enough damage too that it sh should just go right through that super armor as oh, well. Oh, yeah, you're right. Too. Wow. So that's something also that's really important when you are dealing with Yoshi, knowing what moves you can actually go through it. Yeah. Because um, then that that recovery becomes exponentially, exponentially worse. worse. Yes. Like, you see Yoshi's, where they jump so high, they're like, oh, well, if you try to hit me here, I'll just eat the hit. Nope. I get to save. Psych. Stay safe. 
kick in the chest. Yeah. All right, Mega Man's back out. Unfortunately, the Yoshi pick. Uh, not enough. Gonna go with the tried and true. Oh, in the back there, I like it. Does a lot of damage and again forces his opponent off stage. Alright, King's playing really smart around the hitboxes of Kamehameha right now. Yeah. Ooh, that movement is so good. Yeah, very it's very good. It's very hard for a lot of characters to just get past that walling, uh, limit spacing, but King just found the opening and is thinking to grab the zone. Yeah, really good stuff. Yeah, yeah I love his timing, uh, going for these cross unders here, so he doesn't really have to deal with all the you know, pressure that's going to come out of all these lemons. Because yeah. again, that's the only way they're really going to get these uh, really safe landings, right? It's the landing he lands with these lemons. So if you're able to go under him during that time period, then all of a sudden now he's going to have a far harder time. He's going to have to make a bet with a back air or something like that in order to land effectively. Yep, so shot back there. See what the trap is here. Gets caught in his uh, tracks with that leaf shield. Uh, starting to see the potential. You said earlier, really strong tool in this matchup. Um, really starting to see Kamehameha use it for the first time. Yeah, that's really, really good to do online in, in Sonic. Especially, like, you know, you can have fade back, too. It can help you deal with the, the ascent of spin dash. Okay, good back throw. Any chance to chase out here? Ooh, there's a bear. That's one. Not going to do it yet. The patience on waiting for the jump there is so good. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Wow. Big Just body. Enough. Don't Town matter, dude. City working against... Karamushi. This They're damn blue coming. hedgehog does not care. Good damage. Throws out the forward air to avoid a potential reset there. I like it when uh, Sonic's do that. They get the hit confirmed with an air. Fade back just a little bit to catch your landing and potentially get a... Uh, Sonic is such a ridiculous character, dude. Just look at the character. Look at those legs. How can you be the fastest thing alive with those legs and then hit like a truck with those legs? That literally makes no sense. I don't know. Maybe he's got lead in those shoes. I guess. But <laughs> well, what propels him forward, dude? I need answers, man. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to get And oh. Sonic. It may be Illuminati, dude. Sonic <laughs> has one eye. He actually has one eye. What do you mean? Sonic only has one eye. I, I don't see it. Like, do you know that, that, like, that where it goes down, like, his eye is actually still there. He actually Wait. only has one eye. Actually, you're right. Yeah, I guess it's gross. I've never seen Sonic the same way again. Yep. Got you all. Anyways, <laughs> back into the match. <laughs> One stock apiece. Uh, yeah. Kamehameha doing a, definitely a bit better than he was last time. Even though he was able to get that one win, you guys got to remember there was an unfortunate SD. Yeah. I, I mean, outside of that, like they're kind of going even, but as far as like, the punches go, they're completely in Ken's favor in that game. Well, and just as I say that, dude, this and, dude uh, just starts jamming them with these... Uh, Back air, you can leg day back air. Perfectly back off stage. How's Mega Man? Cover for oh, this. Okay. Oh my! Yeah, free what damage. Kind of? Okay, oh, that's so good. Okay, and it says I'll, I'll either kill you with the spike or I'll just take the free yeah. damage. You're not getting back to center stage without taking some type of punishment. Yep, and then he gets out of there. Easy. Again, a lot of cross unders here trying to work these landing options. Okay, man, that's why it's going to be so difficult without that leaf shield. All right, lemonade. And the upper, again, trying to chase the landing. Backers him right through the lead shield. Yes. Supposed to go high here. Yeah, disjoints will <laughs> make... Grab on the land. Disjoints will give a problem to the lead shield in those situations as well. Oh, good tech. Oh, yeah, that jump that's Again, calls it out. Kid. I mean, wow, dude, that's crazy. Sure. Dude, that was stuggy. <laughs> that was, <laughs> was stuggery, dude. <laughs> dude just pointed and laughed at him. It's like, he really thought. He didn't want to shake his hand. He's like, here, though. Here's some cake, man. Oh. Wow, dude. Oh, cool. Wow. Uh, he literally has to play, like, winner's finals right now. Like, I don't know why you're giving him a cupcake.